Up next, we have a very special guest speaker. This next guy is, is an old college buddy of mine, Todd Clements. Todd and I went to school together at Arkansas State. We're great friends, and he's a great guy. He's going to come and talk to you about your brain on drugs. This is a guy who knows what he's talking about with the human brain, believe me. How about a great big hand for Dr. Todd Clements? So, hey, are y'all having fun today? Hey, is this better than school? Okay, I've got a question then. Why do, why do we go to school? Why do you go to school? Okay, I heard to learn, I heard to get an education. Why do you need to learn? I heard somebody say to get a good job. Or so would you say this? That would you say, would you agree that you go to school so you can be successful in life? Okay. Well, what part of your body do you think that you need the most in order to do well in school? I heard somebody say kidney up here. It's not kidney. Okay, brain. Yeah, I heard the right answer. Brain, brain, good. Yeah, this right here. So, so. Okay, let me ask you this though first. What, what, why do you, what does your brain do for you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, your, your, your brain controls how you think, your intelligence. You know, you may not know this, your brain also controls your emotions, your feelings. You know, if you're happy, if you're sad, your brain controls your personality, how you act. We know they've done studies on people who have injured their brain and they find out that it, it many times changes their personality. They have problems with their moods and they have problems thinking and being intelligent. How many of y'all would say that you have a healthy brain? Okay, most of you out there. Let me ask you this, what do you think drugs do to a brain? So, what? Actually, we've got a demonstration. I've got Abby and Sophie here that are going to show you. So, who's, so, this right here is a healthy brain. Okay. All right, they're going to show you what 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 happened, what drugs do to a healthy brain. We may get it on the street because I don't want to get pumpkin on me. So. This is better than being a Gallagher. Okay, Abby, show us what drugs do. <laughs> all right, all right. Hold it up for everybody to see. So that's what drugs do to a healthy brain. Let me ask you this question. What do you think marijuana does to a healthy brain? This is what drugs do. What do you... Uh, kills brain cells. Well, you know, the reason I ask you that question is I talk to a lot of students and I have them tell me, oh, you know what, marijuana won't hurt you. They'll say it's not addictive, but they'll say, you know, I've actually had students tell me, well, it's a plant, you know, God made it, so it's actually good for you. My answer to that is, well, God made rattlesnakes, but what happens if you mess with a rattlesnake, huh? Yeah, so somebody's going to get hurt. So, anyway, I want to show you. Sophie's going to show you what marijuana does to your brain. All right, Sophie, show us what marijuana does to your brain. Go ahead. All right. So you can see a marijuana brain there. It looks pretty bad. Now, you girls don't run anywhere because since you tore this up, you've got to clean it up just a little bit here. But anyway, the reason I bring this is because you need a healthy brain to be successful in life. And as Craig said, I was a psychiatrist and I worked specifically with people with drug addictions for about 10 years. I've seen over a thousand people, several thousand. I've never had one person say to me, hey, I'm glad that I started using alcohol and drugs. In fact, it's the opposite. They say, you know, I wish I'd never touched this stuff. It's caused me a lot of heartache and pain. But the thing is, nobody ever wakes up and says, you know, I think I'm gonna become an alcoholic or I think I'm gonna become a drug addict. You know what happens? They just say, well, I'm going to use once or twice. I'm just going to try it. I'm going to do it a few times. It's fun, but it, it's, it's not going to be serious. And before you know it, they become an addict. And the brain looks like that. So what's the only way that you can be sure that you will not become addicted to drugs or alcohol? Yeah, that's right. Don't start in the first place. So I say to you, 
Never take any kind of pills unless they're prescribed to you by your doctor. It doesn't matter what anybody offers you, what they tell you it may do to you, or, or how safe they tell you it is. But also, it's out of the dark, part of out of the dark. We want to commend you guys for standing up and making a commitment and being here today. Willing to stand up and say, hey, I'm going to be drug free. But you know, with that pledge comes some responsibility. I, I hope that you will honor that pledge that you made and live out that pledge. So we hope you have a good time today, but most of all, I really hope to see you guys here again next year with more of your friends. So thank you very much, appreciate it. They want some, they want some brain. They want, they want some brains. 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 Look at them, they're rushing the stage. It's, it's like, it's like, oh All right, I swear, it, it just became like a scene from The Walking Dead. Brains, brains, what the brains. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Clements. Very good, very wise words. Appreciate you coming and sharing with us. The rally has helped me stay drug free because I, uh, with all the people that are doing drugs now in this generation, um, you want to be part of this so that you can have a lot of friends to go to if you feel like you need to start drugs. The rally is helping me because I realize that drugs are worth my time. In your grade, they, you need to be an inspiration to them because everyone is going to try to influence you badly and I think Out of the Dark kind of leads you on the right path to be an inspiration to them. And not well, I think the rally is like going to help me stay duck free because I can see like other teens are not in the in crowd and they know that drugs are not an important part of life and that we can stick together and inspire each other to stay duck free.